Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here today, and we're going to be switching out a breaker panel. First thing I will say to you is before I even flip this on again or anything like that, I will have it inspected by a proper electrician. But as you can see, we have old fuses. Like this thing is super old. I put mini breakers in it, and now it's to the point where, you know what, it's got to be done. So I got my buddy here today. I'm not going to mention his name, but he and me are going to be switching out this panel, and he's a journeyman electrician. So as you can see, old panel, that's going to be the new one. Now the thing is, all the new panels nowadays are made for copper. So I'm going to have to go pick up a bottle of Penetrox, so that way we can basically lube up all our connections, so that way it'll adapt to the new copper panel. And then the other thing is, is if you're wondering, how the heck can you see this panel like that? If you look at your panel, if it's not a closed one, you'll see you have like four bolts usually. And even on the new one, it's four bolts. And when you take that off, you see all these connections. Now, there's two things, or well, one major thing you have to do before you, you do this. If you live in a condo, you have to get a hold of Strata, and you have to, if you want to, ask if you can do this. And two is you need to get them to flip the day of, you need to flip your main breaker off. And um, again, you can do that just by getting access to the electrical room. If you own a house and you can't get at the main breaker, you're going to have to probably call your hydro company, so your electrical company, and get them to flick it off for the day or call them and say, hey, I need it flicked off now, start it, and then flick it back on, or get them to flick it back on. Sometimes they'll try and charge you a small fee. You can always check. But again, these are just things to consider. What some people will do is they'll take the hot wire and they'll undo it, and then they'll tape it up and then they'll work on the panel. I don't suggest doing this because if that hot wire comes off, you've got a whole lot of problems. If you have a smart meter and you blow it up, BC Hydro will probably charge you a hell of a lot more and just some other funky stuff. So again, don't do it. So after you get down to this point, uh, what I suggest you do is you label your connections. It's pretty easy. But uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. I'm going to take a look at our main ground, which I see is coming in right here. Uh, or, or earth or whatever you call it in the place where you're from and then we've got our hot wire and stuff like that so we're just going to be transferring this over again I'm going to talk with my electrician here and I'll show you the next step alright guys so what we ended up doing which was pretty awesome was uh, we just undid everything pulled it out because we're going to do uh, voltage tests and circuit tests to find out where our breakers are because mine were all mixed matched here if it's you and you want it all labored or labeled uh, you could always tape the wires with different colors. So you know how you'll see them going to your old fuse breakers or maybe something like that? You can always tape uh, the wires that went to the old breaker and then label bathroom and then you just slide it in. It's that easy. But mine were all over the place, so I'll be um, retesting mine and then putting them in. I'm also going to be going and buying some Penetrox since I do have aluminum wiring, so that way I can do that. But... It's easy as that. Label it and then pull the panel. As you can see, I had to do some damage here because they never left a service space for um, actually taking it out. So I just, I have to cut my space a little bit bigger anyway. So it's not a big deal. It's not even going to be that much of a drywall fix, to tell you the truth. But uh, as you can see, I had to press. We tried to cut and then I just pulled it out. I said, screw it. It's not worth it. And uh, I'll see what I do from there. For I mean, I've you're gonna maybe have to do some drywall repairs, just how it goes. And yeah, as you can see the studs right there, and they friggin' missed here. Didn't realize that. They had missed by so much, so I'm gonna be able to put the new panel in here. I'm actually pretty joyous about that. I thought I was gonna have to maybe, um, since this isn't a load-bearing wall, have to move the stud a bit or something like that in here. And now that I know I don't have to do that, I'm pretty psyched. So just get your old panel out. Uh, let's see if I've got the old one here. See these, uh, Let's show you. See those connectors on top? There's going to be two screws on each one of them. I had to loosen those off so that way I could pull the wires out. And there was one also on the bottom which I just pulled out. And uh, what, all you do is you pull them out and then you force the wires down. That's pretty much it. But uh, when I start to put the new panel in, I'll show you that. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we had to uh, cut. And then after we cut, I put a longer piece of 2x4 right here, and then we used a piece of that wood that used to back right here to space it out. Now we've got enough space to fit the new panel in. The new one was just 
Uh, the new one's four inches and the old one's like two and a half inch. So it wasn't going to fit the same way, obviously. So now that I've got this a little bit bigger, we'll put the new panel in here. Have to do some drywall here. Who gives a crap? You're going to have to expect something like that anyway. So the good thing is I've got a stud right here. So for fucking after I get it in here, I just have to cut a piece of drywall, put it in here, mud it, and done. Either way, so now that we got this out, we're going to fit our new panel in, mount it, and then we can start wiring. And I'll show you that after. All right, guys. So as you see, we got to the point now where our panel's in. We, I ended up cutting this in. I'm going to have to re-drywall this anyway. And I'm just probably going to go right along here and replace this whole piece. So that way there's more structure to it. But to get these in, so that uh, your 4040s and stuff like that, uh, it's going to have to be a little bit wider. Trying to wedge it in there, especially if you use the front ones. Is going to be next to impossible make yourself a little bit easier and just do it like this if again if you're an electrician you already know what you're doing so i'm just showing you this and now it's just time to wire up the new breakers so let's show you how your mains are going to go this right here is for your grounding strap so you're going to want to put that right here as you can see it's already here and we've already put our buses down here so that way we can uh put our other grounds like this as you can see it's the one that's without any sheath color and that's right here and then from there all our white wires are going to be going into here and our main white wire is obviously going to go right here so main white into there and then whites here if you're doing a new panel make sure you leave service loops that means a little bit of a loop like that before you put it in that way if you ever have to remove your panel or move a break or move anything it makes your life a heck of a lot easier so from this point you'll put your whites in here and then you'll have a spot right here for your red you put your red in here and then you'll put your black right here and then I'll show you how to wire up the breakers afterwards but for now that's all you really need to know is just put in your like I said boss bars you can move them around if you want and stuff like that okay so as you can see here we ended up going up top with the white which is fine still connected it all our neutral bus bars and then as you can see red on this side black on that side and there is our little ground bus bars and they're all ready to go so now it's time to start wiring up the grounds and then we can start wiring up breakers as you can see we've got our neutrals hooked up here and we've got all our grounds done out here and our mains now as you can see, do you see how the mains have service loops? This is what you want. See how these don't have service loops, really? They're just straight up, especially those two. That's a great example. That's not a good thing. You want to have a little loop like that, so if that way if you have to pull out a, you know, pull anything out, like especially with the breakers and stuff, when you're pulling stuff apart, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to have wire there, a little bit of extra, than it is to try and add that wire back later. So. Always remember your service loops. Another thing for you is make sure you see that little white tube there. That's Penetrox. You're definitely going to want to do that if you have aluminum wiring. If you have copper, you're solid. But as you can see, I do have aluminum wiring. So we we're Penetroxing everything basically. All right, so now we're ready for our breakers, as you can see. And uh, I'm just going to wire them up and I'll show you the map. If you take a look here, as you can see, breakers are all in. Um, after we get this up and going, which of course the next thing is of course to uh, probably fit around your, with your panel, make sure it's going to sit like the top piece over here. Um, but make sure you, uh, again, if you've got aluminum penetrox. Now, as you can see, we are a little bit short on a few of ours. All we did was, uh, I've seen electricians do this before. Uh, what it is, is if your service loops are not there, you have to moret it, but you can't moret it outside the box. It has to be inside. And again, uh, if you're getting this all checked out, it all depends on the person checking out your panel. If they're going to be like yay or nay or give you the clearance for it, just because it depends on the person. Again, this is how it looks when you're done. And uh, the only thing really left is to fit the panel on and then make sure all your breakers are off when you first start and get power and then you flick it on and then from there you can label your breakers as you turn each one on. So as you can see, just put the panel in loosely here. I'll do the drywall afterwards. Next thing that we did was you turned on 
called or for me I was able to turn on the main breaker for you you might have to call hydro and get them to switch it on next thing is at that point is uh, flicking on each breaker one at a time labeling them and going from there as you can see labeled everything's here breaking this out is easy but that's all there really is to putting in one of these breaker panels again I can't stress it enough yeah do it yourself if you really want to but if even if you do at least get a journeyman or an electrician to take a look at it so that way they can give you the green light to flip that switch because if you flip it and your house burns down good luck trying to get insurance or anyone to cover it anyways thanks again for watching I hope this video kind of showed you the process that goes into switching out a breaker panel and uh, yeah have a great day